Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three dinner ideas that are perfect for the fall and also winter months. They are all super obviously delicious, but they are warm and comforting and cozy and just so, so nice this time of year. So not only are these meals healthy um, and packed with nutrients and filling, they are also, like I said, really cozy and comforting and warm and just so nice this time of year. But also they are easy, okay? You guys, you know I like to cook. I like to make homemade meals but I'm not someone who likes to spend a whole lot of time in the kitchen. I get overwhelmed by recipes that are super, super long with ingredients and all that and preparation, and I really do like to keep it simple. So these really are pretty easy to whip up, especially on a weeknight, and they typically, most of them make for also really great leftovers. So if you guys wanna see three of my favorite staple meals that we make all the time this time of year, let's get started. Okay, so our first meal is going to be a sweet potato and black bean stew. So the very first thing I'm doing is just chopping up two cloves of garlic and just kind of mincing them. And then I'm also going to dice uh, about half of an onion, and this is my favorite way to do it. It seriously dices in like two seconds, it's so easy. And then in a Dutch oven, kind of like a big pot, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. I'm using avocado oil, and then also add in our garlic and onions, and I'm just gonna kind of stir those around until they're fragrant. And while those are cooking, I'm going to start slicing up the sweet potato, and I'm just gonna dice it pretty small. If you have a hard time chopping sweet potatoes, you probably just need a nicer, sharper knife. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and throw those in the Dutch oven and kind of spin them around with uh, the garlic and um, onions. So I'm gonna add this big can of diced tomatoes, some black beans, and then also some tomato paste as well as some chicken stock. You can use any kind of broth you want. And that is what everything looks like when it's all thrown together. And then as far as spices, I'm gonna do a little oregano, turmeric, smoked papri paprika, and then also some crushed red pepper for some spice. And then of course, just a little bit of salt and pepper. So we're just gonna throw all of that together. And that is what it looks like when it's just bubbling and combining, it's seriously so good. And then I'm just gonna add in a bunch of spinach, like multiple handfuls of spinach. And then you just wanna mix it around so it's really well combined so that it can really cook down nicely. And then you're just gonna pop on that lid, let it simmer for like, 20, 25 minutes, and this is what it looks like when it's all done. I added a little bit of cheese on top, that's optional, it's so good. And then meal number two is spaghetti squash with some turkey meat sauce. This is definitely a favorite of ours. Same thing with the sweet potato. If you have a hard time cutting these, you probably just need a nicer knife. So you're gonna cut it in half, scoop out all of the insides, and once you do that, it will look like this. And then I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of oil, Again, I'm using um, avocado oil. Oh, and I'm also putting this on parchment paper on my pan. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper as well, just to season it. And then we're just going to flip it over, pop it in the oven um, for about 45 minutes. And I'm just gonna, while pretty much once there's like 10 minutes left on the timer, I like to cook the turkey. So just a little bit of salt, pepper, oregano, and I usually add garlic powder too, but I was all out. I'm just gonna cook that turkey and it will look like this when it's all done. And then once the spaghetti squash is done, this is what it looks like fresh out of the oven. Oh, it's so good, like golden yellow. And then I'm just with a fork, just gonna kind of shred it up and that's what makes it like spaghetti. And then we serve it right in the squash. So I'm just gonna top it off with some meat, some sauce, a little bit of Parmesan and we're good to go. That is that meal. So easy for a weeknight, very filling, so nutritious. And Matt even loves this stuff. Like he asks for it, he's obsessed. And then our third meal, I mean, you guys knew I was gonna throw chili in here because I love, I love me some chili. So I'm just cop, uh, chopping up a little bit of garlic, again, mincing it, and then same thing, I'm just dicing half of an onion, and then we're gonna throw that into a big pot with a little bit of oil, again, I'm using avocado oil, you can use whatever you want, and we're gonna throw in that garlic and onion, and just stir those around, again, kind of until they're fragrant, and then we're gonna throw in our turkey to start cooking that. And meanwhile, while the turkey's cooking, I like to dice up one green pepper. I'm just gonna dice that 
um, pretty small because you do want it to be able to like cook thoroughly um, when the whole you know pot of chili is on. So I'm gonna throw the peppers in there, just kind of mix them in with the cooked turkey. And then I'm gonna add another big can of diced tomatoes, some tomato paste, and then beans. I actually love using chickpeas in chili recently. And then as far as spices, oregano, chili powder, cumin, and then also some smoked paprika, and of course, salt and pepper as well. So we're gonna add everything into the pot. This is what it will look like. <laughs> and then once you give it a really good stir, you can go ahead and put the lid on and let it simmer for like 25 to 30 minutes. And this is what it looks like. Again, I added a little bit of cheese. Seriously, so good. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely check out, I will be leaving all like the exact recipes and everything like that below, but definitely check out these recipes. If you give them a try, I would love to hear how you guys are enjoying them. They really are easy to make. They are yummy and filling and like I've said a million times, a good this time of year. But thank you guys again for watching. I hope you found it inspiring. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, follow me on Instagram. Would love to hang out on there as well. But that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.